History Chapter 1 Ancient and Medieval Civilization A. Greek Civilization Greek Civilization is one of the most ancient civilizations in the world. It has greatly contributed to the development of European culture. Origin of Arts, Sports, Science, Philosophy and Political Organization can be traced to the ancient Greek traditions. Greek civilization began to develop around 1500 BC. The name Greece comes from the island Gracia. Greece was also known as Hellas. The people are known as Greeks. Their culture was Greek culture. The typical character of Greek civilization is due to the geographical conditions prevailing there. The north is bordered by mountain ranges while the remaining three sides of Greece are enclosed by the sea. The Greeks, therefore, became good navigators. The broken mountains, ranges in north, and hundreds of small islands made it possible to have a strong central rule. Cultural Life The language or script is a sign of man's progress. Literature, art, sports, architecture and philosophy are the main characteristics of Greek culture. The tradition of writing is supposed to be the oldest one in Greece. The great poet Homer, who lived during 10th century BC, is regarded as one of the great poets of the world. His epics, Iliad and Odyssey, introduced him as a great writer of the world. Great lyricists like Pinder flourished in Greece. The Greek loved plays. Tragedy as a form of literature was popularized by them. The plays of Sophocles are famous even today. Greek contribution to historiography is also notable. Option Greek contribution to historiography is also notable. Herodotus, 5th century BC, has written comprehensive and scientific history, so he is called as father of history. The great historian Thucydides lived there after Herodotus. He depicted the life of people in Athens comprehensively. He advocated the importance of naval power. The Greeks laid the foundation of empirical philosophy. It means the thought of early people. Logic and rationalism were the two important elements of Greek philosophy. Socrates, Plato, Option, Plato, Aristotle have greatly contributed to the treasure of philosophy. In the field of science too, the Greek contribution is very significant. They wrote theories in many subjects. Pythagoras and Euclid contributed to geometry, Archimedes to physics, Ptolemy to astronomy, and Hippocrates to medicine. Philosophy and scientific temper brought realism in the outlook on life. Art and Architecture Realistic depiction of nature marks the Greek art. The temples clearly illustrate the artistic outlook and preference for architectural grandiosity showed in the temples constructed by them. Artistically built pillars shows their skillful work. The Greeks have extensively used marbles in their sculptures. The harmony of proportion, the portrayal of minute details of human physiology and human feelings are the striking features of Greek sculptures. The origin of Greek architecture and sculpture can generally be traced to their mythological stories. Sports In the field of sports, Greek contribution is remarkable one. 
Sports and games are part and parcel of their life. Every four year, sportsmen from all Greek city states used to assemble at a place called Olympia. There used to be many sports competitions. No wars were allowed to be fought during the Olympic Games. These games were considered to be a symbol of goodwill, friendship and peace. The modern Olympic Games have originated from this ancient Greek tradition of sports. Social life In spite of the geographical divisions, all the small islands of Greece shared some common features in respect of their social organization, religious ideas and general lifestyle. Thus, the culture they developed collectively can be termed as Greek culture. The Greek society consisted of two major classes. First, Greek citizens. Second, slaves and prisoners of war. All privileges and rights in the matters political, economic, cultural and religious were confined to the citizens alone. The slaves and war prisoners were deprived of them. The Greeks had developed patriarchal family system. Women had equal share along with men in the right to education and inheritance of property. But they were denied political rights. Religious Beliefs Zeus was the supreme god of Greeks. Hera, Apollo Athena, Venus, Mercury were worshipped. Besides these, every city-state had its own god. Every god had been worshipped according to their geographical condition and social life. Animal sacrifice was in vogue. Worship was generally presided over by female priests. It was believed that gods gave their holy messages to the people through female priests. These messages thus revealed to the public was known as oracle. The oracles of Delphi are well known. The Greeks believed in life after death and also believed in heaven and hell. The modern romantic English poet P. B. Shelley asserted, We are all Greeks. Our laws, literature and art are rooted in Greece. From the words of P. B. Shelley, the idea of great civilization of Greece and impact of power over the world can be understood. The ancient Greek culture was one of the most advanced cultures. Greek culture gave the gift of direct democracy to the world. Option Greek culture gave the gift of direct democracy to the world. Science and philosophy were highly contributed by them. Their contribution to Olympic Games is remarkable. Lack of strong central rule made Greece fall into oblivion. But after the medieval period, Greek civilization gave a new light to Europe. The study of Greek philosophy and scientific attitude led to the European Renaissance. The European Renaissance, in its turn, had profoundly changed today's world culture. Economic Life Mediterranean climate and the other geographical factors played an important role in shaping the economic life of the Greeks. Production of a variety of fruits in Greek orchids constituted a major source of income. They produced quality wines from fruits and olive oil, which were the main commodities of the export. Exporting naturally available marble was also a major business. Availability of timber on a large scale coupled with the vicinity of sea had encouraged development of shipbuilding industry. The Greeks living in the hilly regions reared flocks of sheep. Because of limited agricultural land weaving, woolen cloth was an important industry. Woolen and cotton textile manufacturing was done by women. 
exporting the naturally available marble was also a major business. Trade and industry had brought prosperity to the Greek city-states. This further encouraged Greeks' economic prosperity. Political system Hundreds of small islands, limited agricultural lands, divided Greek society into small groups. Gradually, it developed into city-states. Greek civilization started to develop in these city-states. Generally, the political organization in the city-states was modeled on democratic principles. There was a monarch too who was elected by the people. The concept of democracy was a great gift to the world. In ancient Greece, Athens was famous for all its arts, philosophy and political ideas. We find traces of modern democracy in the political organization of Athens. The Athenian called the chief administrator Archon, who was elected by the people. With increasing administrative work, the number of Archons too increased and an administrative council of nine members came to be formed. All important policy decisions were taken in general assembly which was open to all Athenians. This system is known as direct democracy. Option This system is known as direct democracy. Athens was known as a peace-loving and cultural city-state. Thucydides explained the social life very clearly. In the period of great administrator, Pericles and Peninsula had a great respect. Athens' all-round progress had become an ideal example for other city-state and Athens came to be known as School of Hellas in Greek. Sparta, its neighbor, was known as a militaristic and expansionist city-state. Spartan government was vested in a council of advisors. Military training, love for discipline, self-reliance and training for hard life were the special features of the Spartan public life. Other Greek city-states also practiced democracy in one or the other form. Later, however, the Greek city-states were weakened by constant mutual wars. In 338 BC, King Philip of Macedonia invaded these city-states and annexed them. Do you know this? In ancient times, Olympic Games started at Olympia before 800 BC. The sports were conducted in a place which was enclosed with forest. There the temple of Zeus was constructed. In the 12.19 meter tall temple, statue of Zeus pearls and diamond was studded. Every four year, in between summer, the Olympic Games were held in honor of Zeus. Olympic Games included athletics, javelin throw, discus throw and wrestling exercises. The modern Olympic Games started in 1896 at Athens in Greece. The motto of Olympic game is faster, higher, stronger, means take part in completely. The flag of Olympic is white colored and in the middle of the flag there are five circles intertwined with one another. Option The flag of Olympic is white colored and in the middle of the flag there are five circles intertwined with one another. This is the symbol of Olympics. In every game or sports, first, second and third prizes are conferred respectively with gold, silver and bronze. B. India First, Harappan Civilization Prehistoric period. Lakhs of years ago, there was 
Genesis of Man on the Earth The human history is primarily divided into two stages, prehistoric and historic stage. The prehistoric stage is longer than the historic stage. The prehistoric stage is subdivided into Paleolithic Age, Old Stone Age, Option, Paleolithic Age, that is, Old Stone Age, Mesolithic Age, that is, Middle Stone Age, and Neolithic Age, that is, New Stone Age. In the beginning, man was unknown to the skill of writing. However, the information of this age can be derived from material sources of that age. In short, the period in which the skill of writing was unknown and historical events were not available in written form is called as prehistoric period. Charles Darwin put forth the theory of evolution of life. According to Darwin, the early man lived on the earth some two million years ago. He lived in caves. This early man evolved into a new Homo erectus before some 7.5 lakhs years ago, who could stand in erect posture. Then there was evolution of man into a thinking man, that is, Homo sapien. Man is an inventor of technology. The man of Paleolithic age, that is, Old Stone Age, used the tools made up of stones. Hand axe is the first stone tool made by man. It was used for digging out roots and cutting chunks of meat. The man of Mesolithic, that is, Middle Stone Age, preferred to live in community groups. The institution of family came up for the purpose of reproduction and taking care of progeny. Mesolithic people developed the art of painting. Many such paintings are found in the caves of Bhimbetka, Madhya Pradesh. The painting of rhinoceros hunt in the Adamgra caves indicate the assimilation of large number of people for hunting of bigger animals. Man started cattle breeding in Neolithic age. He began living in the huts made up of timber and grass. The invention of wheel accelerated the human life. In addition to cattle breeding and farming, man began to design the woolen and cotton clothes. He devised new tools and pots. The art of carpentry, pottery and metallurgy developed. The development in the agriculture and industry led to the growth in trade. In the wake of these developments came economic stability and prosperity. The social and economic transactions gave rise to language as a means of communication. Nearly 10,000 years ago, man discovered the metals. He designed the tools and implements of metals. Many cultures that used both stone and copper to design tools are known as the cultures of Chalcolithic Age, Stone Copper Age. The use of metals like copper, bronze and iron made human life more dynamic. Harappan Civilization Indian civilization is one of the ancient civilizations of the world. It was in 1920 AD when the work of laying the Lahore Multan railway line was in progress. A few bricks of ancient origin were found. The archaeological department started excavation work under the guidance of Sir John Marshall and an ancient civilization was discovered. As Harappa was the first site where the remains of this ancient civilization were found, it is known as Harappan civilization. This civilization was situated by the river Indus. So, it is called as Indus River Civilization. Dr. Dayaram Sahami carried out some excavation work in Harappa of Punjab province and Mr. Rakhal Das Banerjee 
did some work at the mountain of the dead of Mohenjo-daro. These excavations threw light on the glorious ancient cultures. Both these places are now in Pakistan. The identical seals were found at Harappa and Mohenjo-daro. The similar remains of civilization were found in Kalibangan, Dholvira, Damabad, Surkotdara Lothal, etc. in Western India. About 1400 such sites of Harappan civilization were found in India. There was similarity between these archaeological finds. It includes their town planning, drainage system, pottery, seals, ornaments, etc. Since the city or the town was at the center of all Harappan civilization, it is also called as urban civilization. On the basis of F. W. Libby's carbon-14 scientific method, the Harappan civilization period dates back to 2700 BC to 1500 BC. Social and Cultural Life The remains of excavation at Harappan throw light on the then social structure, costume, hairstyle, cosmetics, ornaments, entertainment of the Harappan people. All those things indicate the progress in social and cultural life of the Harappan people. Social Structure a family was a primary unit in Harappan society. The society was made of administrators, traders and commons. As this civilization was evolved alongside the banks of fertile rivers, farming became the backbone of the social life. Clothing and Hairstyle one can stress on the knowledge of clothing of Harappan culture. The imprints of clothes that appear on pottery, the clothes on the statues, the needles found at the excavation sites prove the knowledge about clothing. Similarly, the statues reveal different hairstyles. The Harappan men trimmed their beard, parted their hair at center and women had various hairstyles. Costumes A makeup box was discovered at the excavation site of Harappa. It included the bronze mirror, ivory combs, hooks, hairpins, lipsticks, sticks to color eyebrows, etc. The Harappan people had the craze of ornaments, the necklace made of gold, bangles, waistband, rings, etc. were discovered in excavation. The dancing girl statue had the bangles in hand and necklace. All these are the signs of advanced culture. Means of entertainment The Harappan people entertained themselves with the games like dice. They took pleasure in dancing, singing, hunting, animal fighting, etc. They manufactured neat and tidy toys for children. The craftsmen also manufactured skillful toys like mobile ox, bullock carts, bird-shaped whistles, rattles, etc. Religious Beliefs The objects discovered at excavation sites display the religious beliefs of Harappan people. These objects were seals, statues, fire tanks, funerary customs, etc. As farming was the prime business for livelihood, earth was supposed as mother goddess. They worshipped natural forces like sun, water, fire, trees, etc. The fire tank discovered at Kali Bangan reflects the gratitude towards fire. In addition to natural forces, they worshipped Pashupati, Cobra, Bulls, etc. The Harappan people were the idol worshippers. However, 
there were no temples in their culture. There were public baths in Harappan culture. They gave importance for bathing and cleanliness which further became an inseparable part of Indian culture. The people used to bury dead bodies ritually. They believed in life after death. Therefore, they used to put ornaments and urns with the dead bodies before buried. Points to remember First, Sir John Marshall, the head of the archaeological department during British rule. Second, Dr. Dayaram Sahani, the chief exponent of excavation at Harappa. Third, Rakhal Das Banerjee, work of excavation at Mohenjadaro. Fourth, F. W. Libby, inventor of carbon-14 method, that is, identification of period from human bones. Above events revealed that Harappan culture was a well-advanced urban civilization in the world. The researchers could not reveal the mysterious ancient script printed on the seals discovered during excavation. If that happens, it will be possible to obtain the detailed information about Harappan culture. According to historians and archaeologists, the Harappan civilization might have been destroyed in course of time due to deluges, earthquakes or the attacks from outside enemies. Activity Activity Collect more information about Harappan culture under the guidance of your teacher and reference books. Try to visit such excavated places or museum where such ancient remains are preserved. Friends, this activity is not mandatory but an optional one. The main aim is to make you curious and wise. Town Planning The Harappan culture was extremely advanced in respect of town planning and architecture. Their houses, protective walls, drainage system bathrooms, granaries, docks show the progress in architecture of the period. Houses The Harappan town was divided into two parts, administrative and residential. The residential part of the town was normally divided into various wards and blocks. Each wards consisted of 20 to 30 houses. The houses were built of baked bricks. Every house was spacious and had courtyard and bathroom attached to it. Some wells had been discovered in the backyard of their houses. Protective walls Each city or town had a protective wall around it. The protective walls were wide and they were built in baked bricks. Huge castles were constructed to their western sides in order to protect the towns from external attacks. This shows the awareness of Harappan culture for self-protection. The Great Bathroom The remains of the Great Bathrooms were found at Mohenjadaro. The Great Bath measured 12 meter long, 7 meter broad and 2.5 meter deep. The outer walls of the bath had the width of 7 to 8 feet and there was also a provision of separate changing room. There was also a provision of disposal of used water and bringing in clean water in the bathrooms. This implies that Harappans were well aware of sanitation. Drainage system For the disposal of the drainage and rainwater out of the town, there were a meter deep underground drains which were built in stones and baked bricks. This drainage system was the unique feature of Harappan culture that was rarely found in contemporary cultures. The remains of a large dock have been discovered in the excavation at Lothal. It has a length of 270 meters and the width of 37 meters. 
the dog found at Lothal proves that the Harappan people had the knowledge of shipbuilding, trade and sea routes. The seal discovered at Lothal has the carving of ship. The granaries discovered at Lothal are clearly indicative of the advancements in agriculture and trade made by Harappan people. Roads The roads in Harappan towns were parallel and connected to each other. The roads were wide and intersected the main roads at right angles. The fossils of wood discovered along the roads indicates that there might be lamppost facility on the road.